I currently am in a process of applying for a U.S. visa for my foreign spouse, and I have selected U.S. citizen on a lot of documents so far. So I don't plan to take action until we are both in the USA later this year. Will this affect my background check for FOIA for proof of citizenship? Um, no, it shouldn't because the straw man is still usable. And it will always be usable. It's just you want to limit its contracting abilities. If it's something that you need and you know you can gain it with the citizen, that's fine. But whatever documentation that you're filling out that has to do with that citizen, you always want to deposit a copy of that on your UCC and claim that instrument as collateral. That will help to secure it for you. And then if you need to make changes or you need to cancel it, or you need to void it, or you need to upgrade it, or whatever, you would go back to your UCC, and you would do that from there, and then you would send out notice to the parties that need to be notified. But it's not like your straw man disappears. It's not like you collapse the entire trust where you can't maneuver it. Now, if you do that, if you do collapse it, you're going to get stuck because you don't have an entity to maneuver in commerce and it's going to be a big mess. So what we would do is that's something that we would help mentor you through to make sure you're making the right moves so you're not blocking yourself from the ability to use the straw man's credit or to discharge with the straw man or to make purchases with the straw man and then transfer that purchase into the trust. Right. So there are ways to maneuver that, but it's going to be on a case by case basis. <laughs> In other words, William, your straw man is your representative and you don't want to cut off your straw man's legs. You don't want to cut off your representative's hands, <laughs> basically. 